everyone, my name is Heba and welcome back. It's my birthday, so I thought I might do a get ready with me. I don't know what we're going to do yet, if we're going to go out or if we're going to stay home. For me, I would personally like to stay home and have my husband cook for me and massage my hair, my scalp, and my feet. <laughs> and that would be the best birthday gift. But I don't know. We may go to our Christmas tree lighting here in our small town. That would be fun. But I don't think we'll go far from where we live, which is okay with me. And I believe I'll be turning 55. Yeah, I'll be turning 55 years old. But you know, it's just the number. I'm trying to live by that. You are as young as you feel. Or is it you are as old as you feel? Is that it? But I just try to view age as a number. I do yoga. I like to walk. I like to hike. I like to swim. Just as long as I'm moving around, I think that is what I need. Because having a YouTube channel, you are sitting down a lot and you are sitting down a lot while you're editing on the laptop. And it takes me a couple hours to edit a video, maybe longer, depending on what it is. So I'm sitting down, so I need to get up and move. And I think that's very important because if I didn't, I think I would look older than 55 and even act older than 55. That's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. But let's go ahead and get ready. And the palette that I want to use, I don't know, I was going through my drawer of palettes. I've got many of them. And then I saw this one, the Pat McGrath Divine Rose 2. I haven't used this one in a while. I wanted to use this one again. And here's what the palette looks like. A pretty rose color. And the one shade that I want to try is this multi-chrome shade. This one right there. I don't know if you can see it kind of shift. But I want to swatch these again, just kind of refresh my memory. So let's go ahead and do that. You know, let me try to get you in closer. I know I have the new camera, still getting a feel for it. And I hope you're not seeing any trash behind me. Oh my gosh, you probably are. <laughs> so let me zoom you in. I hope that's better. But we'll figure this out. So please bear with me. We'll figure this out. So the first one is Skin Show Rose Opal. And then we have Naked Blush, which is a matte shade. And I remember this shade, Elegant, such a beautiful shade. I love that shade. That is so pretty. This one's Bronze Rose 005, another beautiful shade. And this one's Gold Lust 001. Then we have this dark matte shade, Extreme Burgundy, Divine Dusk. And then this hot pink shade, Rose Seduction. This will be pretty as a blush. I've used this as a blush before. Very nice. And then this multi-chrome shade, let me look at it, it's VR Sextra Terrestrial. I always had a hard time saying that name. Oh, over my wrist bone, but you can see that it has like three or four different shifts in there. Purple, yellow, green. I hope that this camera will do it justice. And then the last one, this Astral Pink Moon. This is more of a shadow topper, this Bliss Astral shade. So here are the shades in the Divine Rose 2 palette. Missed this one. So let me go ahead and prime my eyes with the Hourglass Eyeshadow Primer. And then we will start with this light matte shade, Naked Blush. And apply that to my crease. Now this is the last Mothership palette that I bought from Pat McGrath. She did come out with two new ones, but I didn't get those. Because the colors were just... I don't know, they weren't my favorite. I have shades that are similar that's in that palette, but I did notice right now that she is having her, I guess her Black Friday sale. Let me look at that, that's just one dip. And she has up to 40% off. Let me look and see exactly. You get 30% off if you spend $50, which isn't bad. 35% off if you spend $150, and 40% off if you spend $250. And these Mothership palettes cost now $128. So if you get two of them, you're practically getting one for free, almost. Almost. But anywho, let's go into Extreme Burgundy. Now, technically, tomorrow is my birthday, November 18th, but I'll probably put this video up on my birthday. Okay, so I'm using a fluffy brush, so this Extreme Burgundy won't be too in your face. It'll be easier to work with, because if I use a dense brush, Wow, this, this one's gonna be very pigmented. It's always easy to add more than take away. So yes, I'm filming this the day before my birthday and it'll probably still go out tonight because I think our son and daughter-in-law are coming for my birthday for the weekend. But I always tell my husband I celebrate my birthday for a week, at least a week. <laughs> so hopefully he will cook for me over the weekend because the following Thursday is Thanksgiving and that's when I'll be cooking. I'm having most of my family here for Thanksgiving. Our daughter and son-in-law that moved to Ohio, they won't be able to come, but we did go visit them 
last weekend to celebrate Thanksgiving up there and I cooked a Thanksgiving meal for them in their apartment and their kitchen was not bad. Their kitchen wasn't bad. Their oven and stove was pretty good. And one of my brothers won't be here for, for Thanksgiving, but he will come down here for Christmas. So that's good. I don't mind that. So I always tell my husband since I'm cooking for Thanksgiving and I usually cook for like days, a couple days before, you know, for prep and, and everything like that. So he usually cooks for me for the whole week for my birthday. That's what I tell him. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a good man. Now let me go into this multi-chrome shade, Sexual Terrestrial. Let me use my finger. I don't know if you can see that on my finger, if it shifts there. But let's see how this looks on the lid. Yeah, it looks more pink on my lid now. Do y'all have plans for Thanksgiving? For our Thanksgiving, I do cook a turkey, and I went ahead and went to our grocery store and got a almost 24 pound turkey. That's the size that I usually cook every year. And I usually get it around this time so it could be defrosted. You need one day for every five pound turkey. I think that's the rule. So it's seven days out, so I've got the five days plus an extra day or two for a good measure. And I got a ham. This will be the first time for me to cook a, I guess a spiral cut bone-in ham. Ham. Don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll be watching a lot of YouTube videos. <laughs> Let me just get a flat shader brush just to kind of bring it up to my crease. You know, I'm going to go in with this Astral Pink Moon. It's more of a shadow topper. And I am going to top this shadow with it. Just in the sink, in the center. Yeah, there is some fallout with that shade. I'm seeing some, some sparkles there on my cheeks. So now let's go into this shade, Skin Show, which is it? Skin Show Rose Opal. And let's place you in the inner corner. Now with my turkey, I do make a cornbread stuffing and I do stuff the turkey with it. And then whatever's left, I put it in the casserole dish. I know there's some argument to stuff the bird or not to stuff the bird. So far, whenever I stuff it, it tastes really good. Actually, the stuffing in the bird tastes a lot better than in the casserole. That's just, you know, our preference. And I always like to put jalapenos in my stuffing just to add a little kick to it. And we've been growing some in our garden. It's been really spicy, so I will be using that. Let me just add a little bit of naked blush and just blend everything out. Maybe just a little too much. Let me just blend everything out. And bring that out. And then let's see, what else do I cook with it? I have this recipe for maple glazed carrots. Oh my God, that's that's a hit. And also mashed potatoes, but that belongs to my niece. She comes here and she's the one that has to make the mashed potatoes. We always kind of, you know, have a little fun with it because every other year she spends it with us and then the other year she spends it with her husband's family. I always joke when she's with her husband's family that my mashed potatoes is a lot better, but her mashed potatoes are much better. She has it down to a T with the consistency, with the taste, so I can't wait this year to have our mashed potatoes. All right, let me just clean underneath my eyes here. Since I wiped underneath my eyes, I always like to bring moisture back to it. So I use this cold press rose hip seed oil from The Ordinary. Just a little bit, just to, you know, put some moisture back in these aging eyes. All right, let me go ahead and prime my face. And let's see here. I also make a salad. It has Kalamata olives, feta cheese in there, romaine lettuce, bell peppers, tomatoes, and red onions. Very simple recipe. Need to use a, another primer. This one's a mattifying primer. Just to put it in my pores here and my t-zone area and then my gravy and i have to say i do cook a good gravy i have perfected it over the years and honestly i really don't have a recipe because every year it just seems like it's different i always forget something it's like do i do it this way do i put flour in first do i put the wine in first but we just you know put everything together and it all turns out good. But I use the drippings from the turkey when the turkey's out of the oven and then just kind of cook the fat from the turkey and those good chunks that are left in the pan. And I'll put some flour in there and kind of cook that out and then put my favorite wine that I love to cook with. It's maybe $14, $15. I'll list it down below for you guys, but it's the Vineyard Chateau Saint Michel. I think that is the best wine to cook with. Either the Chardonnay or the, the Cab or the Merlot. Of course, wine is subjective as whatever you like, but for us, I think that's the best wine to cook with and drink with it too. Okay, now for concealer, I'm gonna use the new one by Chanel, the Sublimage Concealer. And which one is this one? 70, yeah, this is the darker one. I'm also gonna use some of 40 and just place that in the inner corner. Just, you know, just have some fun. It's my birthday. 
We're gonna party like it's my birthday. And the lighter one is shade 40. Now with this, because it is in a jar, it does get messy and sometimes I do grab more than what I need. So let me just put you in the inner and outer. I just scoop you back in there. And then let me go in with 70. And then of course we watch the Dallas Cowboys play on TV. Hopefully they'll win. Oh, we are Dallas Cowboy fans here. And then we just enjoy being together as a family. So that's gonna be so fun. And then we go to my sister's house for Christmas in Dallas. For foundation, I'm gonna use this one by Clay de Poe. It's the Radiant Cream Foundation. It comes in this little tube, and it's been a while since I've used this one, about a month. And this one's in the shade 060, yes. And let me use this foundation brush by BK Beauty, the 109. It's the, the middle sister, I should say, than the 506 concealer brush, and there is a bigger one, the 101. But let me use this one, the middle child. <laughs> Her brushes are very soft, and they blend out the product very nice. I'm looking at the viewfinder, I know. <laughs> it's a very pretty foundation. Does give me some radiance there, doesn't it? So for underneath the eyes, let's go in with Naked Blush. And then Extreme Burgundy. And let's place that one in the outer corner. Just focus that there. So let me go ahead and do my brows and my eyes and mascara. And I'll come back and do the rest of my makeup. Went ahead and did my hair using the new curling iron, the Beachcomber, I believe that's the name of it. Let me let you know what I use for my brows. I'm using this one by L'Oreal. This is the Brow Stylist Definer in the shade Brunette. And of course, this brow mascara by Suku, just to kind of, you know, tint my gray brows that I have. And then for liner, this is the Dior Show Black Waterproof Liner. And let me tell you, this is waterproof. It stays on. Use that for the top lash line. And for the eye pencil, I use this one by Guerlain and it's in Black Ebony. And this one also is waterproof and it stays in my waterline, which is really nice. And then mascara, this one by Chanel, the Noir Rouge. I believe that's the name of this mascara. It's not my favorite, but I'm just using it up and using it mostly as a kind of like a base coat. And then this one by YSL, the Lash Clash. Very nice mascara. It's really giving me the length and the and the volume. Let's go ahead and finish the face. And for bronzer, I'm using this cream bronzer by Say. And this one's in the shade Deep Bronze. Yeah, it's a little deep. I'm just gonna use a little bit. Just kind of sculpt this area right here and then some up here. And let's try to make my nose smaller. <laughs> and then let's blend you out. It does lighten up, even though this is a deep bronze, it does lighten up and it's a nice shade for my skin tone. And let's stick with creams and I'm gonna use this one for a blush. This is by Rare Beauty and this one's in the shade Endurance and this is very pigmented. I usually put it on my hand first. So here is what Endurance looks like. I'm gonna use a brush and very carefully apply it on my face. Because <laughs> these blushes are very pigmented. I mean, I could have used the blush from the Pat McGrath palette, but I just want to do something different. Now I want to ask, do y'all have any Christmas trees up or any Christmas decorations? We have one Christmas tree up and we have the lights around our house up. We have someone here that does it for us and he put it on and yeah, I went ahead and told him, go ahead and keep it on. Don't wait till Thanksgiving. It's just so pretty. And so we just put one Christmas tree in the front window. And speaking of Christmas, I've been watching the channel, the Great American Family Channel. They're kind of the rival of the Hallmark Christmas movies. And I've been liking that channel. I've been liking the, the movies in there. And I think Candace Cameron Bure, she was, you know, the queen of the Hallmark Christmas movies or the Hallmark movies, and she moved over to the Great American Family Channel. So we've been watching that channel. I mean, it has the similar concept of the Hallmark Christmas movies. But I don't know. We just switched over there just to kind of give them a chance. And so far, they've got some good movies. I know it's the same concept, like I said, but... We just love watching those kind of movies. I know they're cheesy, but it just makes you feel happy and feel good. Nothing with backstabbing or anything like that, or any meanness or bullying. But yeah, you just feel good watching those kind of movies. And I do hope that y'all check out the Great American Family Channel, especially during the Christmas movies. For highlighter, I'm gonna use this one by Clay de Poe. This is shade 203, and these are also pigmented, so I'm just gonna go gently with this. And let's put some in the or underneath the brows here. Let's go in with the Hourglass Elephant Palette and I'm gonna use one of these two finishing powders. Let's see, let me use this one. I believe this one is dim light, so let me go underneath my eyes to set the Chanel Concealer. 
I've been really liking the concealer. It's very creamy, it's not drying out, it's not creasing, and I think using the two colors does kind of match more my skin tone. It's expensive, I know, to get to, but you know, when you're my age, you want products that will make you look nicer. <laughs> At least that's what I like to think. Now for lipstick. I don't know what lipstick should I go with. Should I go with the nude or should I go with some color? Let's go in with some color. And let me go in with this liquid lipstick by Chanel. And I believe this is Milky Blueberry. Yes, number 102. Let's just add some color to this look. Okay, with this Chanel lipstick, you need to let it set for about a minute. And then you put the lip gloss on top of it. And that makes the color last a long time. If you don't use the lip gloss, it is a little drying and a little sticky. So let me just sit here for a minute and let it set. Okay, let me apply the lip gloss. All right, here's the finished look for my birthday, turning 55 years old. And age is just a number. It's just a number, like I said. I don't know what my husband has in store for me today and for my actual birthday too, which will be the day that this video goes up. I hope this video will go up on my birthday. Our son and daughter-in-law will be coming, but they won't be coming until late. And I know that they'll be, at least that's what they tell me. They're gonna cook me a dinner, I believe Saturday or Sunday. But anyway, at least I have a nice full face of makeup. The Pat McGrath eyeshadow, Sexual Terrestrial, it's very pretty. But I missed using this palette, so I'm glad I used it today for my birthday weekend. Divine Rose 2. And I hope I said everything I wanted to say, because sometimes when I get off a tangent, I forget what I was saying. So hopefully that didn't happen. <laughs> But anywho, thank you so much for spending my birthday with me as I'm getting ready for this look. And if you liked and enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this and do it for my birthday. It's a nice birthday present. And you all have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.